Aloha, welcome to Oahu, and welcome to Hawaii's only TV news for visitors, the Wear TV Hawaii Weekly News. I'm Paul Drews, here to tell you about some of the things happening in and around Waikiki. First up is Where to Go, an overview of events and activities of interest around town this week. Then there's the Weather Report and the Surf Report. If you happen to miss any part of the Wear TV Hawaii Weekly News and want to catch it again, this broadcast is repeated throughout the day, approximately every two hours. And this week, the 12th annual Mardi Gras Fat Tuesday event takes place at the Aloha Tower Marketplace. Mardi Gras musicians and Brazilian dancers will open the festivities in the center atrium before parading through the marketplace. Entertainment continues with a free jazz concert by the Navy's Pacific Fleet Band and dance performances by Dancers Unlimited. Gordon Beers Brewery hosts its exciting events with costume performers, New Orleans Entertainment, and their famous Mud Bog Crawfish Boil with spicy New Orleans jambalaya, chicken, and sausage gumbo. All this and more, which starts at 5 p.m., and the party lasts until 1 in the morning. Make sure you don't miss out on this exciting and appetizing night. For more details of Fat Tuesday, call 566-2337. And for a true learning experience, why not take part in one of the many workshops Hawaii has to offer? The City and County of Honolulu's Department of Parks and Recreations will present a laymaking demonstration and workshop taught by one of Hawaii's premier laymaking masters, Brian Choi. These workshops are free and open to the public, and this one takes place on February 17th at the Aina Haina Community Park in East Oahu. It's about a 15-minute drive from Waikiki. To learn more about this event, call 373-2722. And there are plenty of other free events you won't want to miss out on, like the evening torch lighting and hula show in Waikiki at the Kuhio Beach Hula Mount, which is located near the Duke Kahanamoku statue. After the sun goes down, the music begins, and you can see authentic Hawaiian music and hula performances, as well as a torch lighting ceremony. It's offered every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday nights, weather permitting. And if you go, bring your beach mat or a chair for a comfortable seat to enjoy the show. For more musical entertainment, check out the latest in the Honolulu Chamber Music Series, which presents the Kalik Stein Laredo Robinson Piano Trio. Since making their debut at the White House for President Carter's inauguration back in 1977, they have set the standard for performances of the Piano Trio literature, one of the only chamber ensembles with all of its original members. The trio stays at the top level of their field and also commissions new works. For information on this performance, call 523-8700. This event takes place at the Honolulu Academy of Arts on February 18th. The Academy of Arts is located on Baratania Street, about a 15-minute drive from Waikiki. And that brings us to the Hawaiian word of the week, koa. In the Hawaiian language, the word koa means strong and fearless. The highly skilled warriors of Hawaii's past were also known as koa. The main staircase of Iolani Palace, the residence of the former monarchy, is made of hand-carved koa wood. In Hawaii today, wood carvers and artists create a variety of home decor and accents out of koa, such as picture frames, jewelry boxes, bowls, sculpture, ukuleles, and guitars. And the rarity of koa wood makes these pieces pricey, but its timeless elegance is a good investment if you want something that will never go out of style. It's arguably one of the most beautiful wood grains in the world. Koa trees are found only in Hawaii. Known for its variance in hues, which can range from rich red to chocolate brown, the aesthetic properties of koa have been revered in Hawaii for centuries. And because of its resiliency, ancient Hawaiians used the wood of the koa tree for their canoes, weapons, paddles, and surfboards. They believed each individual tree possessed a sacred mana, or energy. So selecting a tree for use, especially when preparing to build a canoe, was done with extreme care. Now while you're here, we'll have plenty of pleasant weather and plenty of surf. Wintertime is when the huge waves hit our shores. How big are we talking about? Well, we could see surf over 20 or even 25 feet for our northern beaches, with high surf warnings periodically posted for our north and western shores. Those big waves are beautiful to look at, but can be dangerous and deadly if you're in the water. But there are experts who look forward to the huge surf for the ultimate challenge. And if you head to popular North Shore spots like Waimea Bay, Sunset Beach, and Ehokai Beach Park, where the world-famous Banzai Pipeline is found, you can catch these brave watermen in action. West sides will also see surf, and the most popular western beach is Makaha. Waikiki will also have waves. While still smaller, surf could top five feet on some days. So if you do head to the beach, be sure to ask the lifeguard about conditions before you head into the water. 
and expect a lot of sunshine this week. Wintertime is normally a wetter time of year for us, but it's been a dry winter, which means we've seen an abundance of sunshine. And on most days, those sunny skies will continue. As cold fronts pass to the north of the state, we could see a slight boost in clouds or even showers for a day or two. And our normally northeasterly trade winds will be changing as those fronts come our way. Ahead of the fronts, we'll have more southerly winds and even the chance for some hot, hazy days. But after the fronts pass, we'll have cooler northerly winds blowing in across the island. And on most days, the high temperature should climb up into the low 80s, while overnight the temperature should drop down into the mid-60s. And wherever the day takes you, don't forget to use sunscreen. We recommend an SPF of 25 or higher to protect yourself from the strong sun's rays. And if you're up early, don't forget to watch the spectacular sunrise around 7 in the morning or watch the sunset as the sun goes down around 6.30 in the evening. You can't take me with you when you're out and about, but there is a local tour guide with up-to-date information on where to go, what to eat, what's in store for entertainment, and other helpful tips. Look for the Best of Oahu magazine in Waikiki Kiosk. Thanks for tuning in to Wear TV Hawaii, the first TV network for visitors. And again, if you missed any part of the Wear TV Hawaii weekly news and want to catch it again, this broadcast is repeated throughout the day, every day, approximately every two hours. You can also find us on Facebook at MVP Hawaii. There are also links to this broadcast in addition to our Twitter and YouTube updates. I'm Paul Drews. Thanks for watching and aloha.